This is the Surly Pugsley, sort of a fat tire bike with the Bionics PL350 drive system kind of converted on it. This is something that you could either do yourself or you could work with a local shop to have their motor system spoked in because they don't sell it with this you know, extra, extra fat rim back here. But it's just a fun example. I've seen this at a bunch of trade shows. It's one that gets some positive attention and demonstrates like the power and versatility of the Bionic system. So I'll, I'll hit some of the specs on the Surly frame. You've got these awesome, just tons of brazons, right? To add racks and all kinds of stuff. That's sort of what they're known for uh, with, their, with their sort of, I don't know, you like traveling bikes and stuff. Uh, really, really versatile. And of course it has brazons right here and here for bottles, like adding a water bottle. But in this case, we've taken that spot and we've put on this Bionics battery pack, right? And it's cool that it fits right here. Bionics does have a rear rack, but this one's cool because it keeps it low and center, right? That's where you want the weight when you're doing a little bit of off-roading, which is what we're gonna do in a minute here. The motor is a direct drive, that means gearless rear hub motor, sit right here, PL350, so it's kind of, it's just the basic 350, and it offers you 350 watts of power, no gears, so it's a little bit heavier, but it's quieter, it's very durable, and it offers regenerative braking and regen mode. So this is the, the dash, I hope you can kind of see it, there's four levels of regeneration, four levels of pedal assist, and you've got a little throttle. Whenever you pull the brake, that also activates regen. In fact, you might be able to see it when I pull that, it sort of brings up a little G for generate. So it's a really intuitive system. I love that the battery is removable, and in this case, it's a 48 volt, 8.8 .8 amp hour. So that's pretty substantial, both in terms of power, 48 volts is good, and then 8.8 .8 amp hours is like, yeah, that's, that's nice. This is a pretty, pretty good pack. It's lithium ion, um, manganese cobalt, so it's a really good technology. It's kind of that, that same tech that's being used in electric cars. And yeah, Bionics is just known for being one of the leaders in the space as far as kits. And it's cool to see it on a bike like this. So the idea of a fat bike is that you could take it really in sand or in snow. And this, this larger diameter, or rather the fatness of the tire plus those grips is going to keep you from sinking in and it's just going to give you a way to to navigate in that kind of conditions and in fact i've seen there's like a little ski thing that you can mount to the front wheel and and sort of like scoot around like a, almost like a mini snowmobile or something um, so it's just kind of fun there are, there are a couple bikes like this there's like the surface 604 from canada and then uh pedigo also has one that that's a fat tire bike and this is just another option um, again, with like the regen mode, that's one of the things that differentiate it. So I'm going to hop on. It's worth noting that the throttle won't work until you're at like two miles per hour. That's sort of a safety feature that Bionics does. So you kind of start off pedaling. I'm in, you know, four, plus four on uh, pedal assist. So see if you can hear the motor. Fun. Probably not necessary on this soft stuff, but it does add a little bit of cushion. There's no, there's no, you know, suspension on this particular model. But the cool thing about the Bionics kit is you could add it to really kind of any bike. I might go ahead and put the camera on the uh, on the back and give you a look at that So yeah that's the surly pugsley with the Bionics PL350 kit custom installed. Again, you'd have to go to maybe a local bike shop and have them spoke it in for you, or you could do it yourself if you've got the skills, get, get some of the tools online and, and, uh, and learn about that. For more on this and other electric bikes and kits, I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com.